All right, it's your police services update. Join us now, Constable Gatto. Good to see you. You too. Now, I know last time you were on last week, we attempted to talk about bicycles, which we did, yep. but there was a big piece that we missed. So what is it that we're covering today? That's right. Last week, we talked mostly about the equipment on the bike and, and what you have to have with your bike when you're mm -hmm. riding. Uh, what we didn't have a time to do is go over just a few of the rules of the road uh, in regards to bicycles. And I know we did talk last week that um, a bicycle has to follow all the rules of the road just as a car would have to follow them yeah. and that you're liable to the same um, fines and the same points if you have a driver's license um, while you're on your bicycle. Um, but what I wanted to touch on today was just a few rules that I've, when I was looking through the Highway Traffic Act, uh, a couple of which people should know about but need to be reminded about and a couple that maybe people just might be interesting to hear. Um, and the one that I want to talk about first is uh, bicycles riding through a pedestrian crosswalk. So that's at any intersection where um, you have an area where a pedestrian is to walk across with the lights. Bicycles are not allowed to ride through that, that crossover. So in other words, I mean, it's considered part of the sidewalk really as far as the pedestrians go. Okay. Uh, a lot of them are marked um, as pedestrian walkovers. Some are not marked, but it's obvious at the point if it's going from one side of the sidewalk across the road to the next side, yeah. that's consi considered a, a pedestrian crossover. Okay. And I mean, realistically, the bicycle should be on the roadway. So it you're not crossing over that white line into where the pedestrians are. That's right. Are. I mean, if you're on the roadway, you're not in the cross crossover. If you're in the crossover, it's where the pedestrians are walking. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a young child and you're on the, on the sidewalk, you need to get off your, your bike when you get to those areas of the roadway and you need to walk it across the road. To become a pedestrian. To become a pedestrian okay, while you're crossing you. it over. Right. Um, so the biggest reason for that, outside of the fact that it's a $110 fine, potentially, if, you, if you, a police officer was to give you a ticket. Are you serious? Oh yeah, it's expensive to do it. And I mean, usually an officer is not going to give you a ticket just if they see a, I mean, they, c they can, they might stop you and give you a, a bit of a talking to, <laughs> uh, but it's not a general ticket that you're going to get pulled over for but when we get tickets for for people it's because they've gotten into an accident and the reason being is that let's face it if you're on a bicycle and you're riding it you're at a much greater speed than a pedestrian walking would be and we've all been in our cars and we've gone to make a right turn where it's all you look it's clear and then that bicycle comes flying through the intersection and it gets hit that driver is not at fault it's going to be the bicycle that's going to be at, found at fault because they're not supposed to be riding through that bicycle Mm, or the pedestrian, the pedestrian part. Um, so it could be a hundred and ten dollar fine plus a serious injury if you're right. hurt. So people need to remember that if you're going to be using that pedestrian crossover with your bike, you have to get off, you have to walk across, or you could get a hundred and ten dollar fine. Okay. Um, that kind of leads us into another area: is why would that bicycle be on the sidewalk anyway? Um, there is no highway traffic act defense that says that you can't ride on the sidewalk, but there is a bylaw within the city of Guelph. It says a bicycle cannot ride on the sidewalk. It's a $60 fine if you're caught. So adults need to stay off. Now I know we all have, a lot of us have young kids. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's no way when my kids were small that I was gonna put them on the road, it's just too dangerous. The bylaw, uh, the description of a bicycle under the bylaw is any bicycle that has a tire diameter of greater than 24 inches. So in other words, That's a young- That's a big wheel. It's a pretty big wheel. So a young child's bike, does not fit the description under the bylaw of a bicycle. Okay. So a young child can ride on the, on the sidewalk. That is fine. Okay. Um, people don't have to worry about that. Your child is okay. Just make sure you check the, the diameter of your, of your child's tire to make sure that they are allowed to be, to on, be the on the sidewalk. sidewalk. And then of course, I mean, the other thing with, that, with, with your kids are gonna be on the sidewalk, I mean, a huge risk is uh, driveways. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's a, it's a risk when the bicycle's on the road too. Um, obviously driveways are a huge concern, but people don't pay enough attention to them. Yeah. And, and they really should, but especially young kids. Well, and I just want to, and a, a point is that there's a lot of hybrid cars on the road now, and I've had to really re-educate my kids because cars that are hybrids that are backing out, they make zero sound. Yeah, You exactly. don't hear an engine, you don't hear anything, so it's right. really, like, those are very risky. Yeah. The driveways. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, there are a few other little rules uh, of the road that I, I found that I thought maybe people weren't totally aware of. and. And when I read them, I mean, I, it kind of surprised me even sometimes because you don't think about these things when, yeah. when you're out there riding. Uh, a bicycle, when, there, when it is on the roadway, has to stay as far over to the right as possible. So you have to stay as close to the curb as possible. Now, if you're on a road that has a bike lane, obviously you've got the access of that bike lane to do it. But you, uh, if there's no bike lane, you have to stay as close to the right curb as possible. 
the only time you're allowed to come away from that curb is if you're going to say if there's a parked vehicle on the road yeah. or if you're going to par pass a, another cyclist uh, or if you are going to at the next street up maybe make a left turn at that point you can come over towards the middle of the road and and, and make your left, left turn so you can't ride three no you can't ride three it has to be single file if you're riding in a group um, you have to stay to the, to the side of the road and, and it's a safety thing and the reason for it is that you're driving slower than the, the, the normal speed of traffic. Right. So th there would be a ticket if there's three or two. It's $110. So you, see, I know, because yeah. you see that on the highways. There's packs of them, and you have to go really... I find that very nerve-wracking oh, up the hill sure. going around them. Okay, lots of information. We can always get more information. I will follow you on Twitter and Facebook. That's right. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I'm following you. Actually, I think I am following you. All right, taking a short break. When we get back, Gary Christie here with a Volunteer Spotlight. See you in a minute.